Hey guys, this will be my second summoning video of the weekend. I was actually planning to hoard my summons and wait for the next, you know, event or whatever because I wanted to wait for Leia to come into the pool, which I've just made a video on. She is the legendary lord for the Watcher faction and she seems to be a really good rage buffer and a damage booster. So I really wanted her and I was going to wait for her. It turns out she's already in the summon pool as you see here. Now I only have a 0.08% chance, but I'm certain I'm going to get her. When it rains, it pours, and I got a Legendary Lord for the first time recently, so assuredly I will get another because, you know, the universe is on my side today. I can feel it. So, my, my request from you, Lords of uh, Watcher of Realms, I would like Leia, and if you can't give me Leia, then I would like to have Torador, Morrigan, or Araka. So, my, my demands are very low, and uh, I'm sure you will find them easy to meet. Besides that, I don't know, we'll see. I have about probably like 150 summons to do, I think. I'm getting a bunch of random heroes at the moment, but I can tell this is going to be a legendary and it will definitely be Leia and I can rejoice. So let's see her animation. She has a pretty cool cinematic. That's not a harp. She has blonde hair. She's not from the North faction. What is this discount layer? Uh, I already have Sadie, unfortunately, so uh, I have an A1 Sadie now. What does that do? Uh, it applies both buffs simultaneously. Oh, I didn't realize it was either or. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, uh, you know, it's cool. I, I got a legendary quite quickly, so that's nice. So onwards with the summoning session. If I can get a second legendary, I'll be quite chuffed. I think that's a, a good result from like 150 summons. I've already got one, so I'm definitely, I've definitely had some good luck already. But it can always be better. Never settle, guys. Always be greedy. Make your demands heard. I've had pretty good rates with the leg with the uh, epics, and I think I got another daemon there, which I do need to fuse. Though I already have a few. I'm, I'm holding on to a bunch of daemon copies just because eventually he'll get awakenings. Ah, okay. Let's get this one out of the way. And let's get through the rest of my diamonds. I probably should hold them, but I, c I can never hold myself to that. I'll always spend them. If I start summoning, I don't stop until I can't summon anymore. I lack self-control. Ah. Okay, well, we've got, like, maybe another, maybe another 30 summons to go after I scrap stuff. Unfortunately, I got a dupe, but at this point, there aren't a lot of heroes that aren't Chaos Dominion that I don't have, so it's to be expected, really. All right, so let's finish this off. I have a few more summons to go. I don't think I'm going to get another Legendary, which is okay. I should be quite close to Pity. If they introduce a new hero in the next 10 times, then I should be pretty likely to get it, I think. I think I'm pretty close to Pity. I've done a load of summons in this session, so... Another I I do need to try I out. I would like to give her a proper go, but I'm just kind of pressed for resources since they nerfed XP so hard. It's actually really difficult to build loads and loads of heroes now. All right, let's get through these last ones quickly because I, I do have a few of the legendary summons. So I'm going to try my luck with those and see if I can pull anything interesting. All right, nothing there. All right, let's do it. Three divine summons. Let's see if I can pull a Leia out of the hat. Is that a legendary? It is. Oh, nice. Luck straight off the bat. Valeria. I already have a Valeria. But, A1. And it gives her 100 attack speed during her ultimate. So that's not bad. I've not even tried her once. So I'm a bit undeserving of a second one. Maybe I should get my stuff together and actually give her a go. Okay. Vortex. Vortex is amazing. One of the best healers in the game. And my final summon is another epic. Hollow. Hollow is pretty good. Not as favoured as she was in the past. I think people we overvalued her a bit in the past. But she's not bad at all. And I can scrimp one more summon and that is the end of my summoning session. Anyway, yeah, not bad luck really. I had three legendary summons and I had like 160 probably of my normal summons. And in total I got two legendary heroes. Both of them being dupes, which is unfortunate. But hey, that's just the way it goes, right? Anyway, yeah, very short summoning session. Um, that's it. No layer for me today, but hopefully sometime soon.
as you can see, I managed to pull Garn. This was just after those summons I wasn't recording at the time. It was a stray uh, extra ancient summon I had from completing the Nightmare Void Rift. I had one more and I summoned it and just suddenly got this guy. So absolutely lucky on my part. Definitely didn't expect to, to get another Legendary Lord, let alone Garn of all people, the Chaos Dominion Faction Lord. And I've been playing with him. It's been a couple days since I, I did the summons. I've just been doing a bunch of other videos, so I haven't got around to making this one. But yeah, pretty good summoning weekend for me, as you can see. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. Uh, he's A1, but that's because I threw a Soul Stone on him. I don't think his A1 is the best. It's pretty good, but uh, I just did it because it's it's a rare hero, right? If you're going to make anyone A1, probably throw it on the rarest hero you got just for the swag, you know? I've been playing with him quite a bit. I've got a fairly good idea about what I think of him in some content. I haven't tried him everywhere yet. Mainly from my testing, Garn is most used for pairing with Cerberus, which may sound surprising to you, but it's his faction lord bonus. If you look at this, when they are below or when they hit 30% HP, they gain 60% damage. And when they're under 30% HP, they gain 20% attack and 20% defense. When Cerberus dies, the pool is calculated based on his stats at the time of death. And Cerberus was added to the Chaos Dominion faction. So when he dies and his uh, passive goes off, Water of Decay, this area effect, is calculated on his stats at the point of death. And when you have this guy as a faction lord, that's 60% damage bonus and 20% attack. And it makes Cerberus just melt. He absolutely just eviscerates everything around him. So far, that's been my best result from using Garn. And yeah, he just absolutely makes Cerberus a monster. He becomes just godly and Cerberus eviscerates everything. So, so far, that's the best result I've found from Garn. He does actually do reasonable damage himself. It's nothing crazy. He's not competing with a solid fighter, but he is actually notable. He's definitely doing reasonable damage output. Uh, on top of that, he's very tanky and his ultimate gives him a higher block amount because it increases his block by three. So that's really good. And it grants damage reduction to allies. Obviously, Knowing the way this game is, none of my skill ups fell into his ultimate, even though I threw two skill crystals on top. But that's just how this uh, system is, isn't it? So that's not cool. But anyway, I've been playing him. I've been testing him. I've got him in a broken set of gear at the moment just because I wanted to maximize getting defense as well as getting 100% crit rate, getting some crit damage. So and also maintaining some level of health. So he's got nearly 50k health, probably about 50k when you include artifacts and all that stuff. And I've given him this set because this gives him defense as well. I would probably just give him a, an offensive set normally. I'm not sure which one it would be. He seems like a pretty strong hero for sure. I think he's he's definitely a good defender. He does lack the immunity, like the invulnerable windows that other defenders have. So I'm not sure how good he'll be in gear raid 2. But I'll give him some testing. I think he'll be decent. He has this 70 second cooldown because of A1. Normally 90 second cooldown. Of when his health is reduced below a certain threshold, he starts to receive massively less damage. Which does make him insanely tanky for this window. Though the window is not the longest. It's only 15 seconds. Mainly I like him because his offensive power is quite good. He's hitting three enemies at a time. He also has this uh, frantic retribution which cleaves for quite high damage. 500% AoE. I am noticing this hit actually really quite hard. So I think if, I, if you can use him in content where you can get him to block a big wave of enemies with his ultimate up and you have this maxed out then he'll absolutely just eviscerate through the wave i think so yeah i think it's pretty cool my results so far have been promising i've been trying to use him in a bunch of places i use him in artifact material raid trying to use him in conjunction with cerberus but i couldn't quite get the cost to line up to get it to work nicely it's still pretty fast but it's not my fastest i've been using him a little bit in arena in the i think they've, they've renamed it to persistent damage arena now and honestly, I've not had very good results. Considering he's supposed to be built for Arena, I don't have his whole faction, sure. But I have been using an A1 Valeria, and she's not built bad. She's in a full set of Ancient Wisdom gear. 100% crit rate, 140%, 2% crit damage, 10k attack bonus, 218 attack speed. Like, she's in fairly decent gear. That's not bad to support her. And then, of course, I'm using a very strong Cerberus in Styx gear. 90% crit rate is quite low, but decent attack and decent most other things. So yeah, Cerberus is absolutely peeling face. Valeria is just really awkward to use. And I did pull a Dasomi that I have been trying to test and use, but Dasomi so far, I'm not super keen on him. I think he's kind of rubbish, to be honest, because this magic incense only heals when they're below 50% health. And it's just not really working for me. It's just so unreliable as healers go, because as soon as you get a hard hitting enemy and your allies are reduced to low health, then this just isn't cutting it. It's not healing enough. The, the ticks are quite low, which is the problem. If it was healing for a lot once they're under 50%, you can understand, but the, the healing ticks are just quite low at the moment. I do need to test it more, and as you can see, I do need to finish awakening him. <clears throat> I did get some lucky skill-ups into his ultimate, so that's fortunate. 
and he does boost defense by 30%, so he does definitely work well in conjunction with Garn. But I can't help but wonder if this faction is just so whale heavy that you actually need a whole bunch of them. It feels like you're kind of dependent on getting more of the Chaos Dominion heroes, such as Luguru, because I think he's the more offensively minded one. I think he does most of the DPS. So yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like this this whale faction really does go heavy on the whale side. I think you can't get by with just one or two. I mean, you see, I actually have quite a lot of this faction at this point. But I think probably Sargak and Luguru are probably the main DPS heroes from this faction. Sargak was a newer one introduced. He's a, a piercer, but I think he probably does quite good DPS. I'm pretty certain Luguru does. And with the faction lord, I reckon Luguru would be insane. Garn's bonuses are definitely very powerful, these faction benefits. I think you really do need Luguru to bring out the maximum damage potential. I've just been quite unimpressed with Valeria. For a team that's supposed to be a arena team, I don't know how you're supposed to use them because they're going to end up tanking. You have a defender, Garn, to tank, but the problem is there's not that much ways that you can block all the waves with just Garn and have fighters down attacking it who aren't ranged fighters. That's the problem. If you put Garn down, you can get Valeria on the enemy, but then there's not really any other tile to place. You can place on the top side, but they'll tank a bit as well, and then they'll be out of range of normal healers. And if you're using Dasomi, Dasomi doesn't provide any damage boosts. He's just giving some defense bonus and some shield, but he doesn't promote attack speed or attack damage or anything like that. So I don't really get the faction, how it works. I've been testing it a lot. I've been failing so many arenas, just attacking stronger players because I want to see how I'm supposed to use this team. And so far, the only success I have is if I play Cerberus at the right time, he just deletes like the strongest waves by himself. He's melting like 290k ticks a second, just AoE, and it just absolutely eviscerates waves. So, so far from my testing, Cerberus is the best thing about Garn, just allowing this guy to become a true monster, way stronger than the curse benefits grant him. I need to build up my Vladov, but he's an epic. His stats are going to be a lot lower. 3.4k attack at max is not that high. Whereas if you had Luguru at max, it's 6.2k nearly. That is a massive difference in attack stat. I'm not too certain. I'll give him a go. I'll build him up. But I don't know how. If you look at this, I've got five heroes, which should be good for an arena team. But it just doesn't really work. So I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to use these guys. The problem is with arena, Salazar is too dominant. Salazar's ult just destroys things. And Hatsa is way too broken. She just wins arena. She's probably arguably the best hero in group arena, in anti-air arena, and even in persistent damage arena. They seriously need to nerf Hatsut, to be honest. I know I don't have her, so this might just be me being salty, but she actually does break arena quite hard, and I really would like them to nerf her. It's just, there's nothing you can really do, because she has an AoE nuke that comes up quite quickly. So she's too viable in too many places, in my opinion. So I think they need to tone down the damage of her armor. Otherwise... They can introduce this faction as, as much as they want, but it doesn't feel like an arena faction when Hatsu is not in the faction. So my advice to you, if you're considering spending to get hold of this faction, don't. They are not that strong in my my testing, my brief, admittedly brief testing. I don't think it's a very good faction, which is probably a good thing for the majority of players, like 99% of you who don't have any of these heroes. It's a good thing because from my testing, Dasomi sucks. He might be niche. And I think, okay, one thing. His magic intense is probably the best de debuff dispeller in the game that I'm aware of because he can just dispel them rapidly. Every two seconds, he can chuck these out. With his ultimate active, it will be plus two targets. So he'll just be chucking out these debuff cleansers and that will be really, really good in future content. But that content isn't here right now. So he could be quite good in the Void Rift in the first phase because there are some debuffs. But you can make do with Midan and Elowen if you have her. But he's a very good option for that, for di dispelling debuffs. Valeria, I don't know how to use her. She just doesn't seem super strong to me. Uh, I would like to try a Chaos Dominion team in Arena, in Guild Boss. I did briefly try with just Garn and Valeria. I didn't place Garn at the time. I just had Valeria down with the Lord bonuses. She did manage to survive to the end by timing her ultimates during the shield windows. But her damage output wasn't that high, to be honest. So I don't think a great deal of Valeria. But I will try again once I've got Vladov built. I'll try these three heroes together and see if they can do much by themselves. Another thing is they're all fighters, so they're taking up not many spaces. You want everyone in Dolores' ultimate boost, and it'll only cover three tiles of the fighter tiles. So you're going to use one for Zilla 2 most likely, because she is the strongest hero for Guild Boss. And then you know, only have two left, so you can't place all three of these guys inside the attack boost. And if you have Luguru, then again, it's... I don't know. I don't, I don't think the faction is very well fought out so far. I can see what they're supposed to do, but I think the fact that Salazar and Hatsu exists massively negates their usefulness. 
So it's cool. I'm, I'm glad they're not just ridiculously dominant and crazy overpowered, but I'm a bit surprised at how weak some of this feels so far. I know Valeria was not built with this faction initially. She was added to the faction, but my brief testing has not been very promising. Garn, I think, is cool. I do like Garn. I think he's he's promising. His tankiness is, is very high because his defense is so high, he gets tickled. The strongest enemies just tickle him. So he's very good for sure. And he can be healed as well. He's not like the other Chaos heroes who can't be healed. You can just chuck heals on him. He also grants really good damage mitigation to allies when skilled up. And he has really good block. He has good damage output potential. And he has his own way of surviving massive damage if he can proc his insensibility. And he has a cleave on his basic attack. So I think Garn is pretty good. Dosomi feels way too niche for the current game. So yeah, anyway, kind of a long ramble about this. I've been testing a bit and it's interesting. I'm still happy I've got some pretty cool new heroes to mess about with. But so far, I, I'm not too sold on the Chaos Dominion faction. And I would advise against wailing on it if, if that was your inclination. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, expect a couple more videos coming up soon because I've had some very interesting results from some of these testing. I, I teased earlier one of them. So yeah, look forward to some of those things coming up very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Have a lovely one. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs>